So I think carnival, it's a cultural uh, festival, as you know from your studies. But carnival, given its history, it started as an expression of freedom. So the French that occupied Trinidad in the 1700s for a little bit, um, they would engage in this thing called carnival, which was festivities, and they would go around and do hunting parties and have dinners and, you know, celebrate through the streets. And African slaves at the time were not able to participate in that. So the first time they were able to participate in carnival was in the 1800s, 1833, um, when you had emancipation um, of, um, of the slaves. And so what they decided to do was that they're not going to have dinner parties and, um, and hunting parties. What they decided to do was to dress up and go out into the streets and actually mock the French, um, uh, their, their former colonial masters. And so that's how it started. So carnival, I would say, is an expression of freedom for persons of Trinidad and Tobago heritage. That will be one of the, the, the key pieces. But it's also um, this idea whereby you are able, so it's freedom from slavery, but it's also freedom from just your day-to-day -day life. And so you have two days where you are able to wear as much or as little clothes as you want, go out into the streets and basically have a big party um, with each other. So I think the deeper underlying tone of Carnival is one of freedom and that's the cultural significance that really started it and I think that it's still partially associated with um, with the festival. Great, yeah. So steel bands, they're really much the music of carnival. Um, there are different genres of music, but I would say that the steel band, because it's iconic in the sense that it's the touted as the musical instrument that was created in the 20th century, the only musical instrument created in the 20th century. And because of that, I think once you hear the steel band, um, a lot of individuals say that it puts the rhythm in your bones. So you hear the steel bands and it makes you want to chip, right? Chipping is that movement that you do, slow movement to the, um, to the movement, uh, to the music as you move down the street. And so I think that's the first thing that it does is that it gets people excited. It's iconic in that it resonates with carnival and the idea that this is the beginning of the festivities. The thing with steel bands is that there is this big competition, steel band competition. I'm not sure if you all um, read about it, but during the Marche Gras, you have, um, which is the Calypsonians singing, right before that, you have Panorama. And Panorama is when all the national steel bands, they're orchestras, right? Just as you would have, you know, symphonies, etc., within the United States, within Trinidad, you have these steel band orchestras. And the night, I think it's on Carnival Saturday, which is the Saturday before uh, Carnival, they all come together and they play, they compete, and they usually play um, the songs of the current season. And that, I think, gives that that start. It, it, it marks off the start of the carnival festivities for a lot of people. And so that iconic musical instrument gets people excited, it gets them into the rhythm, it gets them into the mood. And I think that's what the steel bands do for a carnival. So it kicks off in, in a very much crescendo-like um, feeling, kicks off the start of the carnival activities on that Saturday night before Carnival Monday and Tuesday. That's a big one. I mean, you can go the grandiose way and say that, you know, there will be no carnival without the steel pan. Um, but I, I do think, as I said, it's a central piece. It's um, interesting that the Saturday before Carnival Monday and Tuesday, we have the panorama which is that celebration where all of the national steel bands come together. Um, and these bands are huge, right? I mean, like 40, 50 persons all playing. So you can imagine the org, it really is an orchestra. And so that sets the tone for carnival. So I can't envision a carnival without the steel pan, because where would the carnival be without panorama? Um, and so I do think that there are some 
um, real iconic linkages between the steel band, the steel pan, and then the um, the celebration of carnival that happens on Carnival Monday and Tuesday.